Traumatic neonatal distal femoral physeal injury. Physeal injury in the distal femur in the neonate is rare. In general, traumatic neonatal physeal fracture usually occur in the distal humors and rarely occur in the distal femur. The condition usually occurs due to birth trauma and usually result from physeal separation, which result in epiphyseal separation. The thigh will be swollen and there may be hypomobility of the extremity. The neonate will be fussy or irritated with significant swelling in the thigh. This condition can be underdiagnosed. The epiphysis is usually present at birth in the x-rays. This can be complicated if the epiphysis is not completely ossified at birth or if the child is born prematurely. In this situation, the X-ray interpretation may be difficult. MRI will be really helpful if the doctor is uncertain of the diagnosis. Here is the situation for the epiphyseal separation of the distal femur. Child at birth, X-rays, look at the lateral, you find the epiphysis is ossified and present at birth with varying degrees and it may not be clear. Each epiphysis will line up with its corresponding bone. For example, epiphysis of the distal femur will line up with the femoral shaft. Epiphysis of the proximal tibia will line up with the tibial shaft. If the two epiphyses separate from each other, then this is a congenital dislocation of the knee which can be a spectrum that varies from hyperextension to subluxation to frank dislocation. If the epiphysis is separated from its corresponding bone, for example, the epiphysis of the distal femur is separated from the femur, then that is a physeal injury. And because the distal femur is mostly cartilaginous, you don't see bone shifting, you just see a little hint of that separation of the physis by seeing the small ossified epiphysis is not in its normal position that correspond with the axis of the bone. It is a physeal injury, it is a physeal separation, you want to know the difference between this physeal injury and congenital dislocation of the knee. Treatment. Accurate, gentle, close reduction with a follow-up x-rays to confirm the reduction and to detect any early bony bridging. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.